Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl again. And I still have this face on my channel. We actually will be doing uh, a few episodes together about friendships, relationships, and other topics that will be coming up. Mm -hmm. And does she need to introduce herself again? I mean, for the new viewers, please introduce yourself. Yes, my name is Michaela Gomez and I'm a gospel singer. In case you're interested, we shall put uh, the link below to my YouTube channel where you can listen to my songs. Igwe mm -hmm. is the top the... hit song, so ah. I strongly recommend it. Igwe, is it the latest? Uh, no, the latest is Bonga. Bonga? Yes. But that Igwe was song. fire. Yeah. And then there was another one, 247? Yes. Two four seven. That's the first. Song. I think it's my favorite when it comes to dancing. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it was good though. Oh, Two four you. seven. I'm free. That one. Ah, did you hear the voice? <laughs> oh, ah. But the truth is, yeah. she can sing. She's an amazing singer. Thank and, you. And uh, let's support her. I'm gonna link. Ah, uh, oh, I'm gonna put her the link to her channel in the description box below. Just check it out. Yes. Yeah, and. I forgot actually to introduce myself. My name is Vivian, aka African Princess. Yeah, you said it. <laughs> I don't need to repeat. And today, uh, like the last video, we were talking about friendship and who do we call a friend, who is a good friend, the deal break and everything. But today we are going to talk about um, like like toxic friendships or toxic friends. What are the signs? We, we're just going to make it, because if we talk all the points, it's going to be too long. We're going to hit on only five signs. Mm. And they should help us know or realize when a friend, they could have been good friends from the beginning, yeah. but then later on, they begin to change and show some toxicity. Mm. Is that the word? <laughs> anyway, forget about You're English. The English teacher, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, and the first sign that we have is uh they disrespect your boundaries mm. they always disrespect your boundaries yeah. uh, if we elaborate more about this um actually there are some friends who you know in the group if you're actually many there's always that one person who wants to actually lead mm. decide where yeah. you're going yes. which color you're going to dress you know. And then some friends reach at a point where they want to dictate who you can talk to mm. and you can't talk to. Mm. I get it. The truth is, I'm always jealous when like my best friend has other besties. I feel like mm, they're taking her from me. But she's free mm. to befriend her, to befriend yeah. whoever she wants. Yeah. I don't want to ask why were you laughing with this group. And another thing is actually, sorry, you haven't said anything. Yeah, I'm just remembered right, before right. I forget. Yeah. Just because I'm fighting with the other person, I don't think my friend should mm. like should never ever talk to the other person. No. No. You know, okay. sometimes we have our own small conflicts, yes. but it doesn't mean because I have that little conflict, there is a cold war going on with someone mm. that is maybe a common friend, mm. and I want to stop my best friend mm. from talking to them. What do you think about that? Mm. I mean, I think it truly depends on the situation. Yeah. Because if you also have to question how, how, um, uh, how can I say, how um, serious is this situation? Uh, situation? Mm -hmm. Because if that friend still supports the other friend and you know that that friend really did wrong, mm -hmm. like there is mm -hmm. nothing to be justified mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. then you have to question why is this person actually supporting that type of behavior? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because then it means they are the same, you know? Yeah. And uh, so it's you have to keep your eye open to that. Mm -hmm. But then if, if it's something that you can actually you can fix, mm -hmm. it's nothing that really destroys too many things, mm -hmm. then there is no problem for that person to be kind of the middle person. And it's also good for that friend uh, if you to allow it, mm -hmm. then that friend can kind of help you to come to an agreement. Mm -hmm. But most of the times it's advisable for the two friends to solve it on their own. Mm -hmm just so that it doesn't uh, become bigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so it really depends on the situation, I would say. Uh, and then another toxic uh, sign can be when you said that uh, uh, friends that are like leaders or dictating you or telling you to do yeah. this and that. I think it's important that, of course, there is always a head 
in everything that we do. There's mm-hmm. always someone who takes the lead. Um, but there's how you do it. You still should make sure that other friends are heard, respect their personalities, mm-hmm. um, and also make sure that everyone are equal in the group mm-hmm. um, so that uh, no one feels inferior than another one. Mm-hmm. I think that's important in a friendship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then what us let's let me give uh, maybe an example one or two of the, the you know when they begin to disrespect the when they begin to cross I am open to advice I really want my friend to advise me but I don't want them to decide for me like they shouldn't tell me exactly especially there uh, there is this moment where you're not even asking for any advice like I've made up my mind because there are these friends who will, will feel like you know you can't date that guy. He's not your class. You know, we are here. We don't de- we don't do this. We don't this. Like we, we what do you mean we? Mm-hmm. I met a guy. I'm interested in him. Yeah. He, he he like he 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 checks all the boxes. Mm. I feel like a friend shouldn't come in and tell me I can't date that person. Yeah. That was just an example. Or let's say we always go out together and maybe I drink just one glass. And my friend drinks more. And then there are those friends who will tell you, just keep drinking. Just why, why are you boring? Mm. Two yeah. more won't do anything. But I have said it. I, this is how yeah. I do it. Yes. Or maybe we are friends. You drink. Mm. I don't drink. Yes. And I'm cool with it. Yes. Why some friends will want to like make you change. Like mm. just a glass. Exactly. You're so boring. Mm-hmm. Is it because you're a Christian? Mm. It's 2024. Mm. Yeah. I feel like by that they are crossing because yeah. I don't want they they will start to make you feel make things that make you uncomfortable. Yeah, that's why it's so important. Even the Bible says that we should be equally yoked mm-hmm. uh, to people around us. Otherwise, it's like a bad character corrupts mm-hmm. good morals. Mm-hmm. So it's so important that you have friends that really, even if you don't have the same faith, but they do respect your boundaries. Yeah. They do understand because sometimes you can have friends from the past especially now i'll speak as someone who is a christian Mm. uh you have friends from the past they don't just simply disappear because you're saved Mm. but now it's about where are you taking them are you influencing them in a good way Mm. or at least are you respecting you're not judging them maybe they they have their own time when they're going to get to know christ god is working every day so uh, hope is not lost for anyone but at the same time, be wise to not be influenced by their old patterns, yeah. you know? Mm. You have to grow. Always seek to growing. So it's so important, as you said, that we should really respect each other's choices and um, be able to, like, cope. And again, I also think it's good because I've been in that station myself. Mm. The alcohol is not my thing at all. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I have had friends that really they have never forced me to do anything like that mm. and that really it it took me to heart like mm. i was like okay these are friends to keep they, they mm. can respect uh, my boundaries and they don't force you no what is called group pressure yeah yeah group, peer pressure uh-huh yeah. that one is not really good so it's good to have those type of people that can do that mm. and i remember one thing we talked about it before we started the video, mm. let's say we are good friends mm. and I'm dating. I don't want my friends to get too close to my man. Oh, yeah. yeah that's not good. They can be. <laughs> it's a different thing. Let's say I meet a man through you. You're already a friend. Mm. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Even if you're a friend with my man, there is that boundary. Now he's in a relationship, isn't it? Yeah. Let's and it's not about that. you not trusting your man or your best friend. But the devil is a liar. Yeah. Anything can just happen. Not because you intended it to become like mm-hmm. that or what, but just be... Mm, I feel like let's even <laughs> leave the trust. Trust me, we are all jealous. Yeah. We want. I want my man to myself. You want your man to yourself. Mm. It's like that. I, don't don't get too comfortable. Mm. Like you want to, to make it look like you know my guy so much. You know, it's like you know everything he likes. You know A, B, C, D. You know those people who they already know you're dating this guy, but they're still making those night calls to the guy. No, no. I feel like they are. For me, they are crossing. Go. 
<laughs> hey, Mm-mm. that's not good. Mm-mm. No, I think there is so much examples. But anyway, you viewers, I'm very sure you've experienced something like this. You can educate us down below. Toxic friends, they never take accountability. Mm. You said like, something there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the truth is, we will always mess up. No yeah. one is perfect. Yeah. We will always mess up here and there. Mm. I might do things that mm. don't please you or that hurt you. It could be maybe um, not intentionally, actually. Mm. Mm. Um, but regardless, I feel like I need to apologize. Mm. I need to apologize yes, and I need to assure that I won't do it again. Yes. But there are some friends who will, they will really make it look like it wasn't their fault. Yes. They didn't do anything oh, wrong. Or they can, you know, sometimes they give an apology, but you can feel like mm, it's not real. It's not yes. genuine. Mm. They're not really taking a, uh, mm-hmm. account fully, like full accountability to what they did. Mm-hmm. You get it? Yes. Yeah. No, you've got a point there. Mm-hmm. It's really bad. We really have to forgive each other. Um, every person counts, you know. Uh, forgiveness is the only way to move forward, really. Yeah, yeah. And very true. There is forgiveness. But before you, I forgive you, ask for forgiveness. Remember. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's always good to, if you see that you messed up mm. with your friend, sometimes it's actually something very small. But then, that I'm sorry. I'm mm. sorry I did this. I'm sorry I actually didn't mean to do this. Mm. If you really didn't mean to do it, say you didn't mean to do it and you're sorry. If mm. you did it and you didn't know it was going to hurt them, just be genuine and be mm. sorry for real. Do be genuine with your apology mm. and take accountability. Mm. There's something that can actually be fixed. Yes. I don't know which which one is the best example. Mm. Let's say I, I, I borrowed your... Maybe I didn't borrow. I just came and took your dress. Mm. <laughs> and in the process, I bring it when I've ruined it. Mm. In my opinion, even if we are friends, at least Try to, are you going to fix what you ruined? Mm. Maybe you need to bring a new dress. I don't know. But just be accountable for yeah. what you did. Fix things. And some people take it cool, like, oh, we are friends, it's okay. Mm. And then sometimes they're like, no, it's okay. What are friends for? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I had these things. No, I feel like sometimes you become... It can be a little bit hard to be quite harsh to your friends. Yeah. They can do something. You you know you're not happy, but you're like, mm. it's okay, I'll fix it. Yeah. Yes, maybe they took that thing without letting you know. Some That's what I say, boundaries, actually, if you go back. I feel like before you take something from your friend, ask for it. Mm. Before you use anything from your friend, ask for permission. Yeah. And then it's up to them to say yes. Oh no. And even if they say no, it's okay. Yeah. That doesn't mean they're a bad person or a mm-hmm. bad friend because of that. Mm-hmm. Bad friends or toxic friends, they always need something from you. And you know these friends always take, they always take. Okay, yeah. You get it? Yeah. That yes, we we, we benefit from each other in a different way. We help each other. Mm-hmm. But there is this friendship where you're giving and giving and giving. But you're not receiving anything. Mm. Like, yeah. The opposite does not even consider you. Like, doesn't think of your needs. Yeah, it's, it's like... I, 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 I. It's I, I... They come when they have an interest. Yeah, <laughs> when they have a problem, they come to you. Yeah. You always help them. You always fix their problems. It could be her helping with chores, helping mm. with money, uh, trying to find a job. Uh, accommodating them when they need it but they never and sometimes you need you just need a shoulder to lean on when you're down isn't mm, it mm. yeah mm-hmm. uh, the first point is uh that toxic friends make you feel guilty for spending time with other people i've even mm. i've ever experienced something like that let me think about that's it. when the jealousy comes in they don't want you to hang out with other people I don't know. You uh, never experienced it. Let me think. I have my best friend. Mm-hmm. And when she hangs out with other people, I'm like, okay. You know? But I think it depends. I think I would feel bad mm-hmm. if we had planned. Mm-hmm. And then she maybe 
goes with others. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And that's it, let's, it, actually but, let's clear it yeah it's very normal yes. to be a little bit jealous we yeah. want our friends to ourselves mm-hmm. but out of our friendship they are individuals with personal lives of course yes. you get it yeah. so the point is they make you feel guilty for spending time with other people that's when they come oh so you've got new friends okay so no, you no longer I... hang out with me they, uh-huh. they don't want you to yeah, talk yeah, yeah. they don't want you to no. because Hey, uh, you're my best friend, mm. but I have other friends. Of course, I have families. Yeah, and then I don't think we just because I have best friend, I don't stop making new friends. Mm. Not like my best friend; she has a bunch of other good friends. Yeah, and sometimes I see pictures. I'm like, I see them all. Mm. <laughs> they are, they are, they are having good time, and for mm. me, as long as they treat her well, that's yes. it. Yes, and then as long as I'm sure that I'm the best thing. <laughs> I don't, ah, but it's yeah. normal to be a little know bit jealous. Position. Yeah, but it's 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 normal to be a little bit jealous. Yeah, yeah of course, but yeah. don't be too jealous. And at that point, you feel like you own them. Yeah, you own, like it's they That's just want it. them to be with you. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's those things even exist in relationships. Yeah, today they do. Whereby either the man or the woman um, needs the partner to be only with them. Yeah. no one else you're not supposed to have friends you know if you're going to visit your parents i have to come have like to come. you have to be there all the time uh so no that's really toxic behavior yeah it is <laughs> uh, we do yeah. not recommend <laughs> yeah actually 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 anyway it's, we are not talking about friendship right now uh, relationship right now no. but that's actually true yeah we are partners but then individuals at the same time yeah. sometimes you need a little space i feel like it's okay for the for my guy to have like their guys mm. stay out yeah. sometimes once in a while i want to go out with my girl mm. but i still want to spend quality time with him yeah. of course mm-hmm. yeah another thing or another sign is that they dismiss your values and principles mm. in a way that i'm a christian mm. is very important to me yes and maybe you're not a, and sometimes you're both christians but maybe to different levels yes that's true because our faith is on a different level and as a christian me there, there are things that i know i can't do mm. isn't it yes let me give an example me and my sister we are both christians but at a different level yeah. there are things that she doesn't do and i do yeah we are both Christians, but I feel like, me, I'm okay, I can do this. Mm. But for her, she's like, mm, no, I can't. But I respect that. That's it. Yeah. The That's faith her. is individual. Yeah. It mm. could be about dressing. Yeah. Maybe I just want to be modest. Yeah. I want to cover everywhere. Yeah. And then there are some friends who will be like, you don't need to cover mm. everywhere. Mm. You look like a 50 years old woman. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> there are some friends that are crazy. Yes. Uh, and then you could be... We, we, the best example is about religion, but then it could also be about la- lifestyle. Yes. I don't drink. I don't drink. Exactly. I was just thinking about that, mm. what we mentioned earlier. So it's so important to respect each other's values mm-hmm. and principles, indeed. Um, yeah, but as you've said, like, uh, every person has its own faith and convictions. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's so important that we are not... Uh, worse than the other or better than the other because of that mm. um so it's it also has to do with boundaries like mm. um who are you to comment you know like mm. of course you're my friend you can share your thoughts with me but mm. in what way are you doing that mm. Mm. you know it's also so important and if maybe you can also have a friend that actually has wrong values you mm-hmm. know there is some type of morality out mm. there so mm. Maybe you just have to know how to also influence your your friend into a better version of him or herself. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah. but do you know by influencing sometimes just your character can influence me. Yes. How you now carry that's yourself. What I to... You know you can yes. still influence them if you want to influence exactly. how you carry yourself. Yes. You don't have to. I don't want you to be on my neck every time. Mm-mm. Oh, it's you don't look good in those dresses. Words, but yeah, or actually. By and then yes. some. I feel like some friends make it clear. For me, this is me. Yes. And I, I always actually open up with my friends. Mm. Uh, me, I dress like this. I uh, mean, I don't feel comfortable in maybe very short dresses or very short shorts. Mm. 
But I mean, my friends don't care. They are perfectly fine, and I'm okay with that. I feel like if they think they look good, then they look good. Yeah. If it doesn't affect them in any way, uh, we talked about drinking, smoking, mm. like and other lifestyles in general. Yeah. Like going clubbing. Yep. I uh, just going out and holy and another thing overspending. Mm. That's an issue, actually. Yeah. Maybe I'm just a person who loves saving because the more we go out, the more we are spending, actually. Yes. You might want us to go out three times a week. And me, I'm like, I think I'm okay with one time mm. a week or mm. once a mm. month. Mm. I don't, they, and then there's this thing of they begin to, to make you feel low mm. because of the, the, the lifestyle you choose to live. Yeah, yeah. yeah because... It's true. Mm-hmm. I mean, the best thing uh, to live with others is to understand them, mm-hmm. know who they are, mm-hmm. and uh, adapt from mm-hmm. there. You know, it's so important. Like as you've said, if you have a friend that only wants to go out once a week, mm-hmm. and then you want to go, find those other people that you know you can hang out with three times a week. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> or do it yourself. But you know, manage, but don't force anyone to do what they cannot do or mm-hmm. do not want to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has been good. So I think we are done. I think so. I don't have any more to add for now. Me neither. Yeah, so that was <laughs> it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, she's a gospel singer. And trust me, if you, you listen or watch her songs, you're going to appreciate me later. And uh, what's the name of your channel? Michaela Gomez. Just like her name, Michaela yes. Gomez. And I'm going to actually leave the link in the description box below. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for taking your thank special you. and precious time. Thank you. And come here on my channel. And I want to see more of you here. <laughs> I enjoy this kind of, mm. I hate working alone. So I would rather talk with someone I because I feel like you need um knowledge from other people and wisdom mm. from other people mm. sharing ideas and knowing what they think about yes. life in general mm. is really important yeah, yeah. so uh that's it guys okay yeah. this is hard to close the video yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm making it so long yeah, but okay. um see you in another video stay tuned stay blessed take care bye, bye.